welcome back to the class everyone today we have uh yet another conquest video actually we just recently released one showing how you can use a lot of really low gear characters to still be able to get the feats in the current conquest that is specifically cow Marin, and the tuscans but one of the things that i've been hearing a lot either in my comment section or in on discord through other people's videos is jml is not all that accessible as a galactic legend and he's really key to be getting able to get 100 kills with cal and seer so today's video is brought to you by another solution so as you can see here this is the feat we're currently working on where you have to actually defeat 100 enemies with cal and seer the reason why this can become so challenging is because they're brand new characters so again unless you're dropping a lot of cash on them right out the gate you're not going to have them up to high relics to where they're actually going to have enough damage to be able to kill things themselves so there is a strategy that lets us kind of work around this and i will get to mods and data discs. those are very important i had to do a lot of trial and error to be able to get this to work uh with them but let's go ahead and check out what we're actually doing here so flashback a little bit here at the beginning of the video you can see that i only have about 50 kills with cal or seer i've been doing that through my jml method which i guess is a reminder to anyone if you have jml you just taking cal against the tuscans who don't have an aoe and call him to get the kill on all the tuscans and you get a, like five kills per battle it's pretty great uh, that being said as you can see this strategy has nothing to do with jedi master luke and has actually everything to do with gas so there's a few impo important concepts here gas lead doesn't matter what's going on prevents revives so if you take him against night sisters the only one that will be able to revive is zombie because she bypasses all of that uh, what is really nice too is he still gets his taunt and or mark i guess the mark is from voluntary vanguard uh even with cal on there and what's also really cool is it prevents him from countering so we don't accidentally kill someone we don't want to you saw that right there that my cow was actually strong enough to survive a uh, AOE from other Talzin, which is important because you do, and we'll get into like, again, requirements here in a second. Well, maybe a few minutes, actually. Uh, you do need Cal at least gear nine or so. He, this is not going to work with a level one Cal like the Jedi Master Luke strategy would. Anyways, the whole point of this strategy is to kill three of the allied characters Probably you want to do Assange, Mother Talzin, as well as Spirit, because they're damage dealers, they can make gas sit, they can cause a lot of issues. And then, the only thing we have to do is go in and kill Zombie over and over and over again. And you might be asking, well, you know, Calvin, my Cal is only gear 9, how in the world is he killing Zombie? Well, Gas has this really fun mechanic in his kit, where he can reduce an enemy's max health to zero every single time he hits them where they don't have protection. So what's gonna happen in here, once we get this proper setup going, we're just gonna be able to click auto and we will kill a zombie over and over and over and over again with all of our characters, including Cal. And I think there's even actually a better way to do this than we're gonna show in the video and we'll mention that here in a second. So now we've got our setup and you can't see it, but I just clicked auto basic up in the top corner and now we're just going to completely kill zombie over and over and over again and again my cal he's not that strong doesn't have a lot going for him but what is going to happen i'll fast forward a little bit in the video is eventually when gas uses basic on zombie her max health is reduced to like three or four bars or something like that and then it doesn't it doesn't really matter how little damage cal is doing if she has only two or three bars of health uh, his basic is going to kill her every time so as you can see there there is a kill and then you just let this go for a whole you know 10 minutes because this is on oh, i should have mentioned this this is specifically on the night sister boss battle in sector three that's important for two reasons number one this is the only one that will have a zombie but on top of that uh, that's actually really good because since it's a boss note it'll be here every single conquest regardless of what you do so you don't have to worry about always trying to find that right note or you just completely screwed out of this feat it will always be there and it will always have a zombie in it and you'll always be able to do this one thing i should say that could probably make this counter not this counter but the strategy a lot better that i didn't do i just really wasn't thinking and i was trying i was trying to get the discs and modding right so this was actually plausible but we should have been using gases aoe targeting zombie every now and then today's daca and it, this doesn't not work if you don't do that like daca can not be dazed and obviously you can still get some kills with cow i think like a spoiler we get 20 I think 27 in this fight alone so if you do this four times poorly you can probably be done with it but if we use gas as aoe and we daze daka 
and she's not constantly interrupting everything that we're doing, then we probably get a lot more than 27 kills. One of the thing, nice things actually about this being on a boss battle as well is it goes for a full 10 minutes. Rather, a normal battle would only go for about five. So you have a lot more time to be able to do this. So it depends on, you know, what are you after? Are you really just wanting to get this all done in one or two battles? Then you're going to have to babysit a little bit in Days with Gas. But if you don't, if you just want your 25 kills or so, do exactly what we did. Get the three kills on those characters and then set it up on auto and have fun. Again, the reason why I like leaving Daka versus the other characters there is because she's not doing, she's never going to do enough damage. Mother Talisman definitely can't be left because her plague probably could actually kill a lot of people's cows. Uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and skip to the very end of this here just because uh, nothing really changes. By the way, you don't need to actually kill Daka. You can at the end, I guess, if you want to. But if you time out this battle, you will get all of that um, for the, you will get all the credit for the kills. Other nice thing that could be helpful about getting Daka dazed is she won't accidentally stun Cal on her basic, which was very rarely happened. But, you know, I mean, that's that's one or two kills that otherwise you'll have to go back and get. So going into the modding, I don't know if I really want to touch on my 501st modding all that much because it's very standard. Nothing, I mean, I, I didn't change a single mod and I kind of think that these are the right mods for 501st in general. I mean, Gas's offense and protection, I think he has like 120 speed. Uh, fives is pretty normal. Health and defense, a little bit of speed. Uh, arc, just kind of offense. Rex is speed. Like these aren't like, you don't, you don't probably don't need to remod. They don't even probably need to be that good. The one that is important that we touch on a little bit is Cal. Because if you have him, I think I think ours is at gear nine. But if you have him at gear eight or gear nine or whatever it is, um, you're gonna need him to have a decent amount of health. Plague on Mother of Talzin's big hit is going to ignore all of your protection. So modding him for any like a bunch of protection isn't gonna get you really anywhere. And that's really the only thing he has to survive. If he can survive the Mother Talzin AOE in the very beginning of the battle, he'll be fine. Like it's not it's not gonna make that much of a difference. So I. Even with him being gear nine or whatever, I, I just put health primaries on him. Health primary, health primary, health primary. I think I got a defense set on him because that's kind of nice. But uh, speeds are not important. I think he, I don't, I don't know what his full net was here. It's probably somewhere around, it looks to be somewhere around 50. But I don't, I don't, I don't really think that's important. He'll eventually get a turn. More speed, I guess, would be better. So you get more kills. But really, for people who are just looking to red crate and are looking for a solution, to this that is not JML or to actually have Cal geared up. Even even 10 kills is enough to be able to get through it. That's probably worth it. Uh, and the last thing that we need to talk about are data disks. This is where it gets really tricky. And I don't know if this is good news or bad news for you guys, but you cannot, you cannot take in Amplify Agony. You can't really take in any of the max health damage dealing disks. I tried this about three or four times with a different combination of them, and they always ruin it. Uh, what ends up happening is DACA just ends up taking, uh, really, Caustic Emissions was the main problem. But even one Caustic Emissions and one Amplify Agony, she was constantly killing herself because she was taking too many turns and then dying from the dots and burning that came with those discs. So don't take any of that. Don't take in the Thermal Exhaust. Uh, don't take in Volatile Accelerator. Like that, that whole build is great for Conquest in general. But for this specific feed, it is not very good. Uh, but let's talk about some of the ones that are really important. Voluntary Vanguard, this is essential. Not because we need Gas to Taunt, he's already doing that. But because allies take 30% reduced damage, that's one of the reasons why Cal was able to initially survive that uh, first hit. Zealous Ambition, while not required, is helpful because that gives more damage to both Cal and Rex to be able to get the three enemies down towards the beginning. Ruthless Defense really isn't important either. I just wanted to put something in place of my Amplify Agonies that I had to keep ripping off. Vitality is probably really important as well. 35% max health is probably key to keeping Cal alive. Again, Zealous Ambition we talked about. Entrenched, probably not important at all. They hit The main damage you're worried about is the one that hits under protection. So having a bunch more protection up isn't going to do you all that good. Protection Recovery, also same exact thing. Not that helpful. Ruthless Swiftness, whenever an enemy uh, falls below 100% health, all allies gain 27% terminator. That might be a little helpful in the beginning, but if you're really wanting to get this done, Zealous Ambition, Vitality, and Voluntary Vanguard, if you could just fill this up with all three of those, that's probably going to be your best path to success. So let me know what you think, and now we just really hope that everyone out there has General Skywalker. But until the next time, guys, stay awesome.